This is an incredible rescue mission aimed at treating a massive and formidable tusker standing at a height of 9 feet. It possesses captivating tusks, each protruding 3 feet outside. Unfortunately, this elegant tusker has been critically injured by firing a sinister trap gun, which is an illegal local made fireman set by cruel poachers. The firing of trap gun has caused a fracture in carpal bone in his front leg. The elephant is renowned in the country for its colossal body size and enormous tusks. It is also famous for its brave duels with fellow elephants during the must season. This furious elephant is well known for its aggressive nature. Therefore, treating such a violent and powerful elephant is exceptionally challenging and life-threatening. However, now he is in a tragic condition. This once brave and stubborn tusker has been breaking into crop fields located close to the forests, raiding their cultivations, and often destroying houses. Consequently, there are both haters and admirers of this elephant. It is suspected that some outraged groups of people might have set this sinister trap in retaliation for the devastation caused to their hard-earned cultivations and properties. The elephant has been partially sedated due to the inherent risk associated with fully sedating it. The elephant's eyes were covered to prevent it from being startled and to avoid causing distress during moments of pain resulting from the treatment procedures. The elephant's legs were secured with ropes to restrain its violent behavior. The firing of the trap gun resulted in significant damage to the left front leg of the elephant. Metal parts and ammunition have embedded themselves deep into the flesh of the leg, requiring extensive treatment that cannot be completed in a single day. Today's focus is primarily on removing the bullet particles that have penetrated deeply into the flesh. It is crucial to pinpoint the precise locations where the bullet fragments are lodged. To achieve this, officials are conducting X-rays. After identifying the precise locations where the bullet particles were embedded, they commenced cleaning the leg. The injured leg was already infected, so to prevent further infection, they thoroughly washed the area. Meanwhile, antibiotics were administered intramuscularly to halt the insidious spread of infection. Antibiotics function inhibiting the growth of bacteria by eliminating bacteria in the wound. Antibiotics prevent the infection from worsening, enabling the body's natural healing mechanisms to work effectively. Simultaneously, saline treatment is being administered as the elephant is severely weakened. After all, the most crucial and dangerous part of the treatment began, removing the bullet particles. The plight of this massive tusker saddened many people. This incident garnered attention from both local and foreign individuals. Many people came forward to aid in the treatment, donating medicines and necessary facilities for this captivating tusker. Several expert veterinarians collaborated to treat the elephant. There's no need to emphasize the danger of this mission, but these compassionate veterinarians risked their lives to assist this giant creature. Abscesses had formed in the areas where the bullet particles were embedded. 
They opened the abscesses and drained the accumulated pus. Using forceps, they removed the bullet particles hidden inside. Cotton swabs soaked in tincture iodine was kept inside the wound to remove the remnants of exudates completely. Saline treatment is still in progress. Once again, they are conducting x-rays to locate the bullet particles embedded in the inner side of the leg. Trap gun is a locally made firearm, often a shotgun rigged to a tripwire or pressure-sensitive mechanism. When an animal triggers the trap by touching or pulling the wire, the gun is discharged, shooting in the direction where the trap is set. <laughs> Meanwhile, the elephant began to sway from side to side displaying dizziness and lack of balance. The team was concerned that the elephant might lose consciousness, so they made various sounds to rouse it. One team member gently pulled the elephant's tail to straighten its posture, balancing its weight and preventing a fall. Unlike other elephants, if this colossal creature were to fall, it could sustain severe internal organ damage due to its extraordinarily long tusks. If it fell, its tusks would strike the ground with great force, potentially damaging the spinal cord. Realizing the treatment could not proceed further for the day, they concluded the session and promptly administered the revival drug to the elephant. The elephant requires further treatment, including addressing the fracture in the carpal bone. We assure you that we will cover the remaining treatment in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned and subscribe to receive the latest updates about this elegant tusker. I think I'm going to go to the house. I think I'm going to go to the house.